In today's session, we we'll look at breakfast service. The current trend is for breakfast to be served in a variety of establishments. Many hotels now offer room-only rates or only serve a continental breakfast inclusive in the room rate with a full breakfast available at an extra charge. Breakfast in hotels may be served in the hotel's restaurant or dining room, in a breakfast room set aside for this meal, or in the guest's bedroom or suite. By the end of the session, you will be able to identify the various types of breakfast and look at different menus related to this breakfast. You'll be able to compile continental, English, American, Indian and house breakfast menus. You will know the cover and the service procedures for the different types of breakfast setups and you will be able to set up a breakfast buffet. Breakfast is the first meal of the day and is served between 7 and 10 am. It is widely referred to as the most important meal of the day. Guests prefer eating customary dishes during breakfast and it is mostly taken by a residential guest of a hotel. Breakfast usually consists of foods that are high in energy content. Hotels offer comp complimentary breakfast to residential guests who stay under continental plan which we call as CP, American plan which is called as AP or modified American plan MAP. Depending on the policy of the hotel during check-in, guests who are eligible for complimentary breakfast are either given breakfast coupons for the number of days they intend to stay or they are given coupons every day. Against this coupon, the guest is served breakfast in the hotel's main restaurant, also sometimes called as coffee shop. Some hotels do not follow the coupon system and they ask the guest for their room numbers when they are in the restaurant and then they verify from the rooming list if they are eligible for the complimentary breakfast or not depending on what plan they have taken. If not, a bill is raised to their rooms. The guests staying under a European plan, they have to pay for their breakfast. The coupons issued at the time of check-in are collected in the restaurant at the beginning of the service. These coupons are analyzed against the room occupancy list at the end of service to know how many residential guests took breakfast and how many of them did not use it. Excess of breakfast covers over the coupons collected represent the non-residential breakfast sales. If coupons are not given, waiters may ask for the residential guest room number and name and verify this against the rooming list. If the guest is not eligible for complimentary breakfast bill, as per actual is raised, the signature is taken and the bill is then sent to the front office for charging it to the guest account. Breakfast is served mainly in two places, that is the restaurants and in the rooms through room service. Hotels that offer free breakfast to residents serve breakfast in restaurants through buffet with a wide range of selection. All breakfast menus are usually at a set price. However, an a la carte breakfast menu is also made available. So following are some of the main different types of breakfast that are offered in hotels. Continental breakfast, the English breakfast, the American breakfast, the Indian breakfast, and the house breakfast. We will now look at each of these breakfast components separately. A continental breakfast. This is also termed as the simple breakfast. It generally includes only bread and rolls with butter and preserves and beverages. Breakfast rolls include croissants, brioche, Vienna rolls, etc. Preserves include jam, marmalade and honey. But honey is not placed on the table unless it is required. Please note that it is preserves and not preservatives. 
Now some of the terms that are used in continental breakfast. Café complet, which is a continental breakfast with coffee. Then we have café simple, which is only coffee with nothing to eat. Té complet, which is a continental breakfast with tea. And té simple, which is only tea with nothing to eat. For a continental breakfast cover, these are the items that would be required to lay the continental breakfast cover. As you can see in the picture, you would need a side plate with a side knife, a napkin, a breakfast cup and saucer with a teaspoon. The table accompaniments would be the badwas, a preserved dish on an underliner with preserved spoons, sugar bowl with sugar cubes and tongs, Know that if granulated sugar is being used, then you provide your teaspoon and a table number if required. Now where do you position these things? So as you can see, the side plate with side knife is positioned in the center of the cover. The side knife over the under plate towards the right with the cutting edge facing the left hand side. The napkin is placed on the side plate under the side knife. You may also keep the napkin at the center and then lap the guest as they sit down. You have the breakfast cup and saucer which is placed to the right hand side of the cover. Handle of the cup towards the right, slightly angled at 4 o'clock position from the guest view for convenience in handling. The teaspoon on the saucer with the spoon handle towards the right. A few things to note here, the preserves come in disposable containers of different portion sizes. Some hotels use sachets of sugar or low calorie sugar which is placed in a sugar caddy. You can also have sugar cubes. Water glass may or may not be placed depending on the policy of the restaurant. A butter dish is not placed beforehand while laying a cover. It is generally laid at the time of service. The sequence of service for continental breakfast serve the juice if offered if not they would generally take it from the buffet and clear the juice glass once they are finished it serve coffee or tea as requested and after serving place the pot on the table if it's a teapot or if you are serving it you can keep it on a hot plate on the sideboard Place the toast rack bread basket with butter dish. Open the butter dish slightly. Generally the coffee cup is not cleared till the guest leaves the restaurant. We need to ensure that we keep serving coffee till the end of the breakfast. The English breakfast or oh, the full breakfast is a substantially cooked breakfast meal often served in the United Kingdom and Ireland that typically includes bacon, sausages, eggs, uh, baked beans, tomatoes, mushrooms, toast and a beverage such as tea or coffee. It comes in different regional variants and is referred to by different names depending on the area. It is also known as fry up in most of the Britain and Ireland and usually referred to as a full English breakfast in England and in the hospitality industry. It is so popular in Britain and Ireland that many cafes and pubs offer the meal at any time of the day as an all day breakfast. It is also popular in other English speaking countries, particularly those that were once a part of the British Empire like India. The full breakfast is among the most internationally recognized British dishes along with staples such as bangers and mash, shepherd's pie, cottage pie, fish and chips, roast beef, sundae roast etc. So we will now look at what comprises of the English breakfast. Ok to start with. We start with cold and then we go towards the hot 
so first on offer would be fruit juices which could be fresh or canned you could either offer fruit juices or stewed fruits or cut fruits if you're offering stewed fruits you can have apples prunes figs guavas apricots fruit compote so these are fruits that are generally cooked in sugar syrup with some herbs then you have breakfast cereals the choice of corn flakes or wheat flakes or oats muesli porridge these are generally served with hot or cold milk then we have a choice of eggs such as omelets fried eggs poached eggs scrambled eggs or boiled eggs choice of fish this would be small portions of kippers bloaters smoked haddock fried fish grilled herring then you have meat such as ham sausage bacon salami liver or kidney this would be a heavier than the other uh, breakfast menus you have different types of breads like bread rolls toast then you have butter and preserves ham jani uh, ham honey marmalade then you have hot beverages like tea coffee hot chocolate and desserts note that today's guests are more health conscious and most of them prefer salt free low calorie high fiber food to meet with their expectations the following items may also be provided so low cholesterol butter preserves with no sugar boiled vegetables decaf coffee that is decaffeinated coffee whole wheat to multi grain bread skim milk and fresh fruits grilled mushrooms potatoes tomatoes baked beans these can be served along with the main dish the following items would be required to lay an english breakfast cover as you can see in the picture a side plate with a side knife a fish knife and a fork a large knife and a fork a dessert spoon and fork a breakfast cup and saucer with a teaspoon a napkin and you can also have the table accompaniments such as badwas the preserved dish on an underliner with preserved spoons sugar bowl with sugar cubes quid set table number most hotels lay all purpose breakfast cover for english breakfast which includes all the items mentioned for english breakfast cover except a fish knife and a fork the side plate and the side knife are placed on the left hand side of the cover with the side knife over the under plate with the cutting edge of the knife facing the left hand side the napkin is placed on the side plate under the side knife or on the center of the cover the breakfast cup and saucer is placed to the right hand side of the cover the handle of the cup towards the right slightly angled at 4 o'clock position from the guest view for convenience in handling the teaspoon on the saucer with the handles towards the right the fish knife and fork the knife is to the right and fork to the left of the cover this is outside the cover and the large knife and fork the knife to the right and fork to the left of the cover but this would be inside the cover the dessert spoon and fork should be placed on top of the cover dessert spoon on the top with handle towards the right and the fork down with the spoon handle towards the left the sequence of service for serving an english breakfast first you serve the juice and clear if the glass is empty then you can serve the stewed fruits or the cut fruits if ordered and clear the dish when finished Serve the breakfast cereals with hot or cold milk as preferred by the guest. Leave the milk pot on the table with the sugar. Clear the bowl and the milk pot. If sugar cubes or sachets are placed for beverages, take away the granulated sugar. Serve coffee or tea as requested. After serving, place the pot on the table. Place the toast rack, bread basket with butter dish. place the large plate with breakfast egg preparations ham bacon kidney liver fried or grilled fish with grilled tomatoes potatoes 
and mushrooms. Please note that coffee needs to be offered till the end of the breakfast. In India, we also offer the Indian breakfast because of the number of guests or depending on the number of guests that are there in the hotel. A typical Indian breakfast would comprise of fruit juice or a lassi with cut fruits. You could have choice of idli, dosa, masala dosa, rava dosas, uttappam, pongal, khichdi, poha, vadas. These can be served with a varieties of sambars, chutneys. You can have paratha, stuffed parathas, chapatis, puris, aloo masala, vegetable curries, curd, pickle as accompaniments. Tea coffee can be offered. But remember, we can also offer bread rolls and bread, breakfast cereals and egg preparations in an Indian breakfast. The cover that you would generally lay for an Indian breakfast would be similar. So a side plate, an AP knife and fork, a dessert spoon, a breakfast cup and saucer with a teaspoon, water goblet or a water glass, a napkin and the table accompaniments would comprise of padwas, sugar bowl with sugar cubes, a cruet set, a pickle pot, condiment sets, table number. If bread and rolls are included, then a side knife on a side plate. Preserved dish is kept on an underliner on the table. So the side plate would be placed on the left hand side of the cover. The napkins on the side plate or in the center of the cover. The breakfast cup and saucer to the right hand side of the cover. Handle on the cup towards the right, slightly angled at around 4 o'clock position from the guest view for convenience in handling. The teaspoon on the sugar with spoons towards the right. The AP knife and fork, the knife on the right and fork to the left of the cover. Dessert spoon on the top of the cover or along with the all-purpose knife and a water goblet at the tip of the all-purpose knife. An American breakfast is neither too heavy nor too light. It usually consists of egg, juice, bacon or sausage, toast or hash brown potatoes. It includes juice, fresh fruits, breakfast cereals, eggs to order, waffles or pancakes that can be served with syrup and honey. Choice of breads with butter and preserves. Coffee is the most preferred beverage and chilled water can be served before breakfast. So the cover for the American breakfast would comprise of a side plate and side knife, a large knife and fork, then uh, you could have a dessert spoon and fork, a breakfast cup and saucer with a teaspoon, a napkin, water goblet with a glass and the table accompaniments would comprise of budwas, preserved dish with an underliner and preserved spoon, sugar bowl with sugar cubes, a croit set the table number. A house breakfast is a breakfast that many establishments offer at a set price which is named after the hotel. It may include fruit juice, breakfast cereals, eggs to order, breakfast rolls with butter and preserves or some items from the English breakfast along with the national or regional dishes according to the place where most guests come from. For example, a hotel in Canada where mostly English guests stay will have more of Indian dishes and a hotel in India where a lot of English guests stay will have English dishes in their house breakfast menu. The house breakfast cover would comprise of a side plate and side knife, a large knife and fork, dessert spoon and fork, a breakfast cup and saucer with teaspoon, a napkin and a water goblet. Most hotels today favor settings of all three major meals through a buffet and especially breakfast as guests have less time and demand quick service. 
buffet service have a few advantages such as it reduces the staff requirements and most guests can be served quickly it displays the food attractively certain dishes may be prepared in front of the guest for example omelets fried eggs waffles during the breakfast time it introduces wide range of dishes under each category of food from which guest makes his or her choice it is possible for them to take all the dishes which would not have been possible in an a la carte system a buffet also acts as a very good marketing tool as it introduces a wide range of dishes a guest will be able to uh, taste all the dishes and develop liking for some of them which he or she may have never tasted in or wouldn't get a taste if they had gone for an a la carte breakfast service so in a breakfast style of service all the breakfast items are served from the buffet now beverages uh, toast egg preparations steaks etc may be cooked to order and served by the waiter now religious faith of customer should be considered here while arranging the dishes on the buffet for example a um, muslim guest may not like to see pork products whereas hindu guest might not like to see beef products on the buffet table along with the other dishes uh, all pork or beef products may either be cooked in order or set up separately on a buffet table during the course of breakfast the waiters may assist the guest in serving water clearing used cutlery glassware soil plates etc the buffet generally has the following spread as you can see on the slide the assorted fruit juices normally two or three either fresh or canned with the uh, glasses you can have stewed fruits such as figs prunes apple guavas apricots etc you can have breakfast cereals such as corn flakes wheat flakes porridge muesli and any of the proprietary brands like kellogs which are available in the market uh, fish you could have uh, fried or grilled fish in meats you could have ham steaks can that can be cooked to order liver kidney bacon sausages etc uh, eggs can be cooked to order you can have omelets fried eggs that are prepared in the restaurant according to the guest needs you can have boiled eggs scrambled eggs and poached eggs that can be collected from the kitchen you could also have vegetables such as grilled tomatoes mushrooms big potatoes hash brown potatoes uh, potato cakes boiled cauliflower broccoli cluster beans etc uh, big beans and tomato sauce can be offered you can have assorted breads and other bakery goods such as bread rolls uh, like uh, brioche croissants vienna rolls you can have breads like whole wheat bread multigrain bread rye bread you can have danish pastries you can have muffins like bran muffins chocolate muffins almond muffins banana muffins etc you can have waffles pancakes butter cholesterol free butter low sodium fat sugar free jam jams marmalades honey sugar caster sugar low calorie sugar mustard proprietary sauces etc also kept on the buffet in addition to that you can also have uh, uh, indian choices like dosa idli khichdi vada stuffed parathas puri bhaji etc you can have a variety of chutneys sambar pickle you can keep curd skim milk and of course hot tea and coffee can either be kept on the buffet or it can be served on the table some items may be prepared on the spot at the buffet which enables a guest to get them cooked as per their liking so the number of dishes arranged on the buffet would depend on first of all the price and the type of clientele today the guest expect dishes from the region or country during breakfast which is possible for modern day chefs to prepare the breakfast buffet offers a wide range of dishes under categories of fruits and juices cereals fish eggs meats vegetables breads and regional dishes the buffet spread for breakfast in india is quite different from that in other countries even the break, uh, breakfast spreads within hotels like a three star is different from that of a five star points to remember as we conclude so of all the meals breakfast service poses a great challenge to service brigade and needs special attention 
it should be organized effectively and served without delay as guests arrive continuously for breakfast and all of them want a quick service any lag in service will upset the guest schedule for the day the breakfast is the first meal that is generally offered from 7 and 10 am and hotel generally offer complimentary breakfast to residential guest except for guests staying under european plan the main types of breakfast are continental breakfast english breakfast american breakfast indian breakfast and house breakfast buffet is the best way of serving a large number of people who come in the restaurant almost at the same time and in a hurry breakfast can be done with minimum number of service staff dishes should be replenished quickly to avoid formation of queues generally room service is not encouraged during breakfast time in many hotels however it can be extended to guests who are unable to come to the restaurant due to any sickness or any unseen events breakfast service will be faster if the mise en place in the still room and the restaurant is properly carried out and checked by the supervisor briefing prior to service must ensure quick service without any confusions